everything but mostly about being a new graduate nurse I just graduated in April and I'm starting my first job and you probably know by the title of this video but today is my first day and I'm so excited um, so hi welcome if you're new here hello I'm super glad you're here you can go ahead and go down below and hit subscribe if you want to stay up to date on my videos or stick around but oh my gosh wow sorry for the lighting it's gonna be a little bit bright today. The sun is like right in my face. Um, but hi, good morning. It's about 7.45 on Monday morning, August 24th, and I am heading to the hospital. I do have to go down today to give them some documents and they give me some paperwork and do some stuff. I don't really know all of what. Um, but they said that there were supplies that I had to pick up for my virtual orientation. So I'm headed down there. I believe we're gonna be meeting um, in groups of like five or six because again, they wanted to split us up for social distancing. So hopefully I'll get to meet a couple of my coworkers, which would be cool. You guys know I met up with one of my coworkers last week, went and had coffee and that was super great and I know that she's not in my group. So I'm anxious to see how like mine goes because I texted her and I know she like meets at a different time than I'm going in. So I'm anxious to see how it goes so I can let her know and like I'm excited for us to both get to start meeting people. It's just really exciting to like know who we're going to be on this journey with. I made it. It's 2.36. Um, I wanted to... 2.36. It's 8.36. I wanted to be in there by like 8.45. Um, we're not supposed to start till nine, but I wanted to give myself time to like check in. There's like a screening process due to COVID. I need to go to the bathroom. So I'll probably head in in a second. The like nerves and like butterflies and anxiety are just hitting me right now. Like it feels, I think now it feels real, which is so crazy. I got here a little bit early. I was like here like 15 minutes ago and the hospital's right across from where I'm at. So I drove over to the hospital and I just like sat in the parking lot for a second. Um, I was going to try and go into the gift shop because the gift shop sells like hospital t-shirts and if we want to wear t-shirts with scrub pants they just have to be the hospital's one like with their logo and stuff on it which totally makes sense. Why do I have this on my finger? Because I'm nervous. I was going to go into the gift shop and grab a shirt or two but they don't open until 9 so I just kind of sat there for a minute and just like kind of admired the hospital which I know is so silly but uh, I'm just so excited. It just feels so real, which is kind of crazy. So crazy that like I'm actually, this is actually happening and like this is what I work so hard for and like I freaking manifested the crap out of this job. Up until like April, I had this hospital's parking pass hanging from my mirror because I had it from a previous rotation where I'd been at their facility. And so I saw that every day while I drove, I saw this hospital's logo every day. I was like, just so focused on like this is what was going to happen and I worked my butt off for it and the fact that it actually worked out is like so insane so insane like crazy so crazy okay I'm gonna head in because I do need to go to the bathroom I know I'm like over 20 minutes early but I think it's fine I'm gonna go to the bathroom and go inside and I will update you guys when I can as of right now all I know is that because I like to just as like a little back information I like to watch these videos and like have people explain them thoroughly so I'm gonna try and do that for you guys um, going into this this is my first day so all I was told was that we have an orientation meeting to come in and like do paperwork and a couple things they really didn't tell me much um, just pick up some supplies that we're gonna need for the rest of orientation because orientation is gonna be virtual for most of this week almost all of this week and that's all I know. I was told to bring two different forms of ID for them to verify. I had to bring a mask and there was this online screening that I had to do based on like COVID stuff to prove that um, I'm healthy and doing okay. So 
that's all I know right now like I'm not I'm just trying to give you guys as much information as I can because I know a lot of people look to these videos for like what to expect for their orientation and obviously this one's very different because it's virtual but yeah okay I'm gonna go in and I'll chat with you guys when I'm done <laughs> Hi guys, so sorry about the lighting. It keeps switching in the car, so it's just what we're working with. It keeps going like really bright to where I look like a ghost or really dark like it is right now. So, not sure what's happening. Not sure if you can hear the Hummer next to me driving like he has a race car, but he doesn't. It's almost 11 and I'm on my way home. So orientation was like about an hour-ish, a little bit over an hour. It's good, there were five of us, and I believe that two of the people in the group with me are in the NICU, and it's so crazy because one of the girls that was there, um, basically like we know each other through her roommate's friend is a wife of one of the firefighters that works with Connor. So it was very interesting. We like kind of know each other in a roundabout way, which is cool. And she's gonna be in the NICU, which is exciting to know another person that I'm gonna be working with. Um, I found out that this program is like far more competitive than I even realized, which is kind of crazy, but like really amazing too, to like know that we made it. And that's really cool. Um, but we went in, we got our badge photo taken and went over just like, we got this whole folder that maybe I'll show you I don't think I will actually. I don't really think I can. It's like kind of private information. But basically we just went through this whole folder of like they, so to start, our orientation is gonna be virtual. So they issued us a laptop and like a bunch of our orientation stuff is preloaded into that laptop. And I think the reason they do it through a laptop is because like a lot of this stuff is secure. And so it's easier for them to just give us a laptop and we do it all through there instead of us trying to like access secure web pages and stuff from home. Um, and we are doing some in person, but I won't be in person again until Thursday. So they issued us a laptop, so basically, we just had to like set up our account and our login and password and then we did some stuff with like payroll and figured out how to log our like log our hours on this sheet um, for this week during orientation since we're obviously not clocking in and out of the hospital and yeah we just kind of went over like pretty basic stuff we set up our hospital associated email address and and made sure like our mailing address was correct because i guess our first paycheck will come to our like be mailed to us in the mail um not through direct deposit we figured out how to set up direct deposit afterwards like i said they gave us our laptop and stuff i have a bag um, with my laptop and that folder with all the packets and information in it and brought that into the car and then i got into the car and i drove over to the hospital which was like a little bit down the road from this office building where we had to do all this orientation stuff and we went over our schedule for the week and then i went over to the hospital and um i just went up to like the front desk and they had my badge waiting for me which was so crazy um i'll try and like cover all the private information and show it to you guys i can like add in a clip right here but obviously i'm not going to show you right now while i'm driving um but i have my badge which is so cool and then my house i think i told you guys but my hospital's policy is that we either have to wear scrubs which is fine obviously or we can wear a t-shirt with scrub pants but the t-shirt has to be like the hospital's t-shirt it has to have their logo on it um so i went to the gift shop and bought some shirts because they were all on sale and the lady was super nice talking to her was like kind of a small world thing because she actually told me that she opened up the gift shop at the hospital that my mom works at when that hospital first opened and my mom's been at that hospital since it opened so they for sure like know each other and she used to volunteer in the NICU which where my mom works so so crazy like such a small world hi guys so it is now 1 20 i have a zoom session at 2 so i've been home for a little bit i have to show you guys i got the sweetest delivery connor had flowers delivered how freaking cute is he um he had flowers delivered just to celebrate my first day, which is so sweet of him. But I've just been hanging out. I had some lunch. I had a gluten-free zucchini bread chocolate chip muffin that my mom made a couple days ago. Because I was just like in a sweet mood. But I feel like, I don't know, that made me feel better about it than having candy. <sighs> Dang. Okay, so it is now 4 p.m. And I'm done. Oh no, my battery's gonna die. I'm gonna film for as long as it'll let me. 
I'm done with orientation for today. I'm off for today. Um, and I'm honestly going to stop vlogging because I just need to decompress. Um, it's just a lot of information thrown at you really fast. And they ended it with a video of all the children at the hospital saying like, thank you for coming and helping take care of us. And like, it's okay to be new and it's okay to be scared. Like what's happening to us was new and scary once too but we're strong and we got through it and you're gonna get through it and like we still love you even if you sit and stare at a computer all day like it makes me want to cry thinking about it and I cried watching it and I've been crying since and I'm just it does not escape me how much of an honor this job is and how much of an honor these children are it's insane so, uh, I'm just going to take the rest of the night off. I'm going to do my second workout, decompress, but holy cow, this is the best decision I've ever made. Next to Mary and Connor. <sighs> oh my god. Hey guys, so super in the future when I'm filming this, but I wanted to pop in um, just to explain the kind of time jump that you're going to see. Sorry if you can hear my computer fan. It's working in overdrive trying to edit this because my computer is getting old. But anyway, um, I the first clips that you saw were on Monday. The next clip you're about to see was on Thursday. Tuesday and Wednesday, I did have orientation, but they were completely virtual. They were all online. I was told that I'm not allowed to film any of it. And I did have some clips of me showing you guys some of the paperwork I received from orientation, but then I felt uncomfortable sharing it just from a privacy standpoint, and I don't want to violate any social media rules with my hospital. So I did take that out. That's why you don't see much information. I went into the week wanting to show you more than I actually was able to, so I apologize for that in advance and for skipping over Tuesday and Wednesday, but really, it was just me in my sweatpants with a nice shirt on top and my makeup done because I had to show my face on Zoom, sitting through Zoom calls all day from like eight to five. So nothing crazy. Um, that you missed. I'm sorry that I didn't get to show it. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to today's portion of the vlog. It's it's about 9.30 and I'm just on my way down to the hospital again. Today we have more in-person orientation and oh my god, I forgot my lunch. Okay, so what I was saying before I turned the camera off, hopefully you can see me. I feel like it looks crazy dark on the screen, um, but I can't really tell because I don't have my glasses on. That's what I was going to tell you guys was I was all dressed and ready and like I got my workout in, I got dressed, I got my makeup done, I was ready to go. And then I went downstairs to make my coffee and I felt like my like cream powder that I use wasn't enough so I was gonna add a little bit of half and half just because I ended up pouring more coffee than I wanted to and like the ratio of coffee to cream wasn't what I wanted so I went to pour more half and half into it and it literally came out as like cottage cheese it I looked on the carton and it said it expired like 20 days ago so that's great my parents had expired half and half sitting in their fridge and so it ruined my coffee so I had to pour my coffee out and I was like okay I'll go make another cup and while I'm doing that I'll run upstairs and grab my glasses and then I quickly realized I can't find my glasses anywhere I like ripped apart my bed because sometimes like when I'm really tired because I read before bed sometimes if I'm really tired while I'm finishing my reading I'll just take my glasses off and like set them next to me on the bed because I'm not like I don't move around in my sleep much so it's fine so I thought maybe I did that, but they weren't there. I ripped my bread apart, they weren't there. They weren't on my nightstand, they weren't in the bathroom, they weren't in my other room, they weren't in the living room, the kitchen. Like, I can't find them anywhere. I basically like went up and down the stairs four times trying to find them, and I couldn't find them. And I started vlogging to tell you guys that I didn't have my glasses and that like I feel so lost without my glasses. Luckily, I can see, my vision's not that bad. It's just like details far away are hard, but it's fine. It's really not that bad. Um, so I'm fine without them. But I, when I started talking to you guys, I like went to explain what we're doing today. And we're having orientation. Sorry if the road is really loud. Then I have a lunch. And that's what made me remember that I didn't bring my lunch. Or we were supposed to bring like a lawn chair or a blanket to sit on. Because we're going to have like a picnic in the park for lunch. And I didn't bring my blanket either. So made it. I made it. Um, there's a grocery store right next to our office building, so I was able to run in and grab a salad. 
and I'm gonna head inside. Gotta go.